Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. And today we're gonna to be doing another page in the Remnants Lovely Layers album that we're working on. So we're working on this one right now. Uh, I will have links to the playlist for the Lovely Layers in the description box below. I will have links to the template um, in the description box below. And I'll also have links to products that I use um, down there below in case you wanna check things out. So this is the paper line we are currently using. It's Prima Love Story. That's what we're using to make this album. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um, the last thing we did was, no, it wasn't that. Was it that? No, it was this. <laughs> the last thing we did was this removable floating pocket uh, page, which is super cute. I think that might be a little too low. Oh, I've already glued it, so it doesn't matter. So. This was the last page we made, which is so cute because it can be removed off of there to work on or to work underneath or to add pictures or what have you. Um, but there's magnets in there. Again, there'll be a link to the playlist for the Remnants Lovely Layers on YouTube. Like I have links, um, I have links. <laughs> I have a playlist for every printable that I have. That way you can start at the beginning and work with me, you know, to go in order. So if you just tell it to, to play in order, it will just go and each video in sequence will come one after the other. Because people sometimes will find a video, we're in the middle of an album and they get lost because we're starting in the middle versus starting in the beginning. So if you find yourself in that position, then go ahead to the description box below and find the link to the playlist and then you can start from there. So this is the last page we did. I'm gonna remove this. This envelope here is also removable in case you haven't been following along on the cover. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am actually contemplating leaving this one, not adding any flips or anything like that. I'm not sure because I really like this paper and it's the middle and I thought maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna leave this page for now. So I think what I'm gonna do, like I said before in other videos, is I think I'm gonna skip around um, because some things haven't been printed out yet. There's uh, things that can be used on different, you know, different elements of the pages can be used in different parts of the album. So I think I'm just gonna skip around. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add something to this page. So from the templates, we're gonna be using page number seven, which is this page here, and this is the fold out pocket page. So what I did, is I um, cut my 12 by 12 paper down to eight and a half by 11, and then I ran it through my printer and I printed page seven, just the plain one on here. So let me move this out of the way. And I think that's the only thing I'm gonna be needing right now. And so as a reminder, some of my templates, um, in order to get the most out of the actual surface of the page, sometimes you can't see the whole tab. So like for this, this page, for example, you can't see this bottom tab line and you can't see this bottom tab line and that's perfectly normal. Don't freak out because of that. You need to still leave that there if you're gonna use the, the way I'm getting ready to show you, but you don't need those tabs. I mean, you don't need those lines to show <laughs> in order to know that that is a tab. So don't, don't think you need to, to switch anything on your printer. So let's go ahead and cut this out. I'm getting my Fiskars paper trimmer out and I think what I'm going to do is first I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to come from the side here. Can you even see? I don't even know where I'm. I'm not even paying attention. Okay. And I'm going to stop right there. So then I can come with my paper trimmer and I can trim it up straight from this part, or turn this part off, and I can stop right where I stopped that cut. So these are tabs and stuff, so I'm gonna put these aside in my embellishments. And then I'm gonna, go, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish trimming these up. And then I'm gonna leave that tab and I'm gonna go ahead and trim this end. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna come in from the side there. And then I'm gonna come down with my paper trimmer and then I'm gonna stop right where I made that 
uh, notch. Did I get it quite? Yeah. All right, so then the next thing we want to do is I'm going to take, let me get my smaller scissors. I'm just going to notch these um, corners here. And I'm going to notch these. These are the tabs that I need. These are Tim Holtz tonic little mini snip thingies. And then I've got my scoreboard here. This is the EK Tool scoreboard and a stylus. And I'm going to score all three of these and then these two side tabs. Oh, I did. I cut up a little too far. Shh, don't tell me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and prep all of those score marks. I'm just going to go one way for right now. And even prep these tabs like that. So what I'm going to do is, I think, I'm going to have a different something going on back here. There's going to be like a pocket. So I'm going to take this, I think, and I'm going to attach it to the back side of this page here. Yep. And then I'm going to fold it back over on itself. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish it the correct way. And then I'm going to use my Teflon bone butter and I'm really going to reinforce that that uh, score there so then it's going to go like this and then it's going to fall back on itself and then this pocket is going to come back this way so i'm going to go ahead and reinforce that like that so that means these tabs need to go the other way as well so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and ink it up so I'm going to be using Distress whoops, Oxide Walnut Stain and a Tim Holtz blending tool. And I'm basically just going to go through and ink the whole thing front and back. Well, maybe not that part because you can't see that. While I'm inking, um, a few videos back I was talking about my allergies and there were several of you that were so very sweet and sent me messages um, giving me advice on different things and all of that, which was very, very, very sweet of you guys. So, um, I live in an area that is kind of in a valley. And the, the allergies around here or the pollens and all of that, it kind of just settles in, you know. So just about everybody that lives in Louisville, Kentucky has some form of allergies. And most of us have like seasonal type allergies. So um, that's basically all it is. And the, and the seasons have been so, like we've had all the seasons, you know, in one week. It's ridiculous. And... I don't know. And so right now the trees are blooming in the grass and all of that. Everything's coming out. Everything's coming back to life. And yeah. Yep. So that's why my allergies are super bad right now. And they're still bad. And I try not to take a whole lot of medicine because, um, you know, I, I can, I don't want to build up an immunity to something that helps when I'm having like an attack, you know? So, but I do appreciate everybody's advice. I do try to do natural things to help me some too. So, so anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to all those people who, who reached out to me and, and gave me some advice on what they do and what their doctors have said and all of that. So that was very sweet. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, so we want to use some tape. Um, this is scrapbook.com's tape. They had sent it to me and we're giving it a good test. And so far, so good because... You know, I can literally bend my spine around and it's not pulling up off of that spine piece. So, so far it's got my vote. Um, there are links in the description box below that will take you directly to, to their tape. Um, and if you buy it, let me know what you think. Let me know when you start using it, uh, what your thoughts are. So, so far I'm pretty okay with it. I'm pretty thinking it's, you know, and it's a, it's a reasonable price and it's easy to get a hold of. And scrapbook.com, they're really good about getting their stuff out. Oh, I need these on this side. So you want to put the tape on this side of this tab 
And then for the pocket, you want to flip it over and put the tape on this side of those tabs. Now, oops, got that piece that I accidentally overcut. Um, but anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it, just so you know. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and remove the backing from the tape here. And we're going to form a pocket. Like that. So we've made our little pocket. Did I already burnish this down? <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> I just, um, about an hour or so ago, I just released the background drawing, the, the um, giveaway background boat. What, what did I call it? The, <laughs> the background drawing giveaway video. I, got, I, I think that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guys. Anyway, so my phone keeps going off, and so I'm, I'm, I, um, people leave in comments and whatnot, so I keep getting distracted. And Anyways, moving on. So now I'm going to take the backing off of this. I wanted to make sure that I got this video recorded for you guys um, today so we could have it tomorrow. Um, I am going to use my glue stick trick. My mom got mad at me. Well, she didn't get mad at me. Um, my mom got upset with me that I wasn't using my glue stick trick. If I'm going to be comparing tapes, I need to use my glue stick trick. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue stick on there. There you go, mom. <laughs> I used a glue stick. <laughs> um, so now, oh, I need to move that out of the way. So now I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to not go over the score. Line it up top and bottom, best I can. I'm going to press down just a hair just to see. Okay, so I want you to see where I put that. I put that on the back side here. So you see that strip right there? Because I'm going to have something over here covering that up in the, in, you know, when we get to this side. We're going to do something that either have the side pocket here or have a po top loading pocket there. Either way, you won't see that. Okay, so now we're back over here. So I've got that attached. And then I'm going to burnish that down like that so it goes like this. Right? That's so cute. I was thinking, um, I was thinking about using this paperclip embellishment that we made a couple videos back. Um, here. I was thinking about using it on this page. Whoops. I can find the, uh, <laughs> I can find the paperclip part. There we go. Right? Isn't that cute? So I'm thinking about just doing that as an embellishment. And then maybe, you know, we've got, I haven't planned any further than this, just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> we also got all of these pieces left over from other pages. You know, maybe we could stick one of these in here. Let's do that. Let's just go ahead. This is from page, what page is this from? Let me just get my book out. And that way I can tell you. This one is from page 12. So this was part, this has got the part one of the accordion pocket page on there. So that's what this came from. So, the easiest way to trim these out is to just go through and trim all those straight lines. Let's just go ahead and do all of them. That way we can just pick a size. So even on these parts here, you just go take a straight line like that and then come back and do that little bit of a curve. I just find it's faster and easier. That's just me. So I'm going to do all three of these the same way, even though I'm not going to use all three most likely. So 
we could use one of these. I don't know if we wanted the shiny part, if we want this part. We can have one of those stick in there. That might be too big. Let's just look at the medium here. See, that might be cute. So one of those sticking in there. Do we like that? I think we do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a whole reinforcement sticker. I think I'm going to use the green to add some color to this page other than pink. I'm going to put a green whole reinforcement sticker there that I color with my Distress inks. Then I'm going to find a hole punch. This is just a regular old office hole punch that I broke. Um, and you know what? I think I'll put a green one on the back side of here too. Just like that. And then I'm going to ink it up real quick. Right. And then does it need something? That is just, I just love, I love this paper clip. I can't even tell you guys how much I love that paper clip. Just, you think it needs some seam binding? Do I have a piece? What do I have? I don't think I have any just left. So let me grab a piece from my jar here. This is just cream seam binding. I should have a link in the description box below. <laughs> the description box below to the Etsy shop that I buy my seam binding from. Um, I like to try to support Etsy shops too as much as I can, especially when they're good and fast, you know. If they've got fast shipping, then I'm all for that. And I know, oops, I know how hard it is to do that whole shipping process. It takes time and you know, you can really, you really know when you've come across a well-oiled Etsy machine when your, <laughs> when your uh, order goes out within a couple of days of you purchasing it. Do you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, so they're really good. So I've got their link below as well. I like that. Well, that just fancied that right on up. That is just adorable. I love this paper clip. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to have to do it again. Let's see, now I need an insert. And I'm trying to decide here, because I've got all these ripped pockets as well. So I'm trying to decide if I need something here in these. Do you know what I mean? Actually, I have an idea. I'm thinking about using this belly band here, the vellum belly band there. However, I was sitting here thinking about this, right? And I'm not a huge fan of this pattern. Not, it's not ugly. I'm just, it's just not my favorite. So I had a thought and I think we're just going to, we're going to work through it together. Let's just see if it'll work. And I'm not even, there. I can't even explain really what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, it may not work and that's okay. So I'm going to cut this tab off. This is one of the leftovers from another page. Oh, I probably should have, probably should trim that off first, keeping my scraps. So this is main base layer three. So we used uh, the other part of this on another page. So I'm going to cut both long tabs off. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to fold this in half. Let me fold it this way. I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to try to anyway. I could score it, I guess. That seems like it'd be the harder way. And I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to burnish it like that. You know, and I'm going to go both ways just because. So my thought is that I would have it attached to both of these pages as a pocket. So it would look like that, right? 
So I'm thinking, I don't, I wonder if it will work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So now that we got that, you know what, first I'm gonna ink, I'm just gonna ink that edge. I'm just gonna run this down that edge there. So now we've got that inked. And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna notch these corners like this. I should have probably scored it first. I hope this works, this might be kinda cool. Okay, I'm gonna need that here in a second. So now I'm gonna get my scoreboard out. And my scoring tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and score both of these pieces, or both of these, both of these sides, the top and the bottom. Ooh, it's getting kind of warm up here. I might take my jacket off. It's not a jacket, it's my whoopee. That's, that's what I call it anyway. Okay, so it's gonna go like this, but both of the tabs, top and bottom, are gonna go in like this. Let's go ahead and burnish that. And then let's ink the outer edges. Okay, so I'm gonna put some tape. I probably should have done the tape first too before I snipped, before I did any snipping. And we're gonna put it on all of the tabs here. Whoa. Ring's getting caught. And I'm going to burnish it. Okay, so now what I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I need to. Trying to figure out the best way to try to attach this on here where it'll lay a little flatter. But since I've already got embellishments on that side, I'm wondering if I need to run a bead of glue. I think I do. So, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this, you guys. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take the backing off of one side, top and bottom tabs, keeping it folded like this. Then I'm gonna take, this is art glitter glue. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna run it down the seam of this. Like that. Just a little bit. So then I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna have this, the part that I've revealed, the sticky part, I'm gonna have it facing up and I'm gonna put the scored piece of this into the scored piece of the already attached page. And we're gonna attach it. Okay, yes, it worked, it worked. Okay, get the backing off of this side. And I'm gonna try to flatten it out here. There we go. All right, let's see how we did. So now I need to just burnish that really good. Gonna have to, um, it's gonna have to be worked a little bit just for it to really be good. I like it. Oh, I like it. What do you guys think? That was a pretty cool way to, pretty cool way <laughs> to use the main base layer three in a different way. I like it. I like it. It worked. It worked. Okay. And let's go ahead and what do I do with it? Here it is. 
I need to give myself some more room on this because it's kind of getting in my way now. Let's go ahead and get this ready. This is just from one of the layers, probably main base layer three page. Let me see. Got to be careful when you <clears throat> when you are scoring vellum because it wants to tear. <clears throat> so you got to take it easy. I mess mine up all the time. That is not a lie. I'm going to have to take this jacket off. I am burning. Uh. Okay, I'm going to put some tape on here and then we'll do the corners real quick. Just a quick note on this tape. Let me get my other tape. Here it is. It's not wound as tight as the sequin tape. You see the gaps and stuff. So it's a little bit more loosey-goosey, which, you know, it's really not that big a deal. It's not a problem. It doesn't affect whether or not it will adhere down. But I did want to point that out just in case um, you get it and you're like, what is going on? I think it's probably normal. All right, so before I attach this down, I'm gonna ink it up real quick. Nope, not that part. Okay. So then this, yeah, see this is what's causing me the issues, not the uh, page itself. So this is going to go here, oops, let me, since this was, I didn't check it, what do I tell you guys, check it before you attach it, well, I forget to do it all the time, I didn't get it perfectly on there, but that's okay, we are moving on, I can't tell if this has an up and a down, but, yeah, I like that, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing on these, I'm going to eyeball the center right there, hopefully, and then I didn't check that one either, so let's ink the back side of that. You'll never know what's going on here. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, this is uh, page eight from the printable templates. It's the envelope number one. And what I did was I printed that page onto some cream colored uh, cardstock. This is 110 pound cardstock. I used the stain script, but on the back side of it, I used the muted backgrounds number 11. So that is this one right here. It's not page 11, it's number 11. Page one is this sheet right here. Um, and this is what it looks like on the cream color and then this is what it looks like on white. So you've got a whole different variation when you print it onto different things. So I printed that on the back because I want the purple to be on this side, but I wanted the inside to have something. Do you know what I mean? So, we're just going to take the scissors, I think, and we're going to trim this sucker out. I'm going to start by trimming away these pieces, these extra pieces. There's a pocket, and then uh, this, actually, is another one of these. Hang on just a minute. Is that the same one, or is it? Did I already use this envelope on something, you guys, and I'm just not seeing it? Surely not. I would see it, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Let me check. Let me check. So now I'm going to score this. Just 
score mark here, score here, score here, score there. All right, so first I'm just gonna go through and prep all of these score marks this direction like that and I'm gonna go ahead and give them a burnish then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do them the other way and burnish them this way So there we have our envelope. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ink all the edges um, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got it inked up. I've got the whole outside inked up. So I wanted to show you guys how this envelope is supposed to go together. These two go in and then the bigger of the two flaps goes up and then this, go, this is the actual flap of the envelope. However, um, I was watching one of my design team video people's the other day. I wish I could remember which one. I watched like three in one day, I think. <laughs> Um, but they did theirs the, I think it was Connie, they did theirs the opposite way, where they tucked these two sides in, and they took the little flap, put it there, and then this was the flap. So that's where the opening of the envelope was. So you could go either way, and I hadn't really even thought about it when I designed it, but I thought I would point that out to you guys. So I'm going to mark the envelopes so I know where the glue should go. Uh, and then we're just going to use the same art glitter glue. And I'm going to go ahead. You could use uh, fiber tack. You don't have to use art glitter glue. So I'm just going to add some glue to these. Like that. Flip it up. Hold it for a second. Okay, I didn't print out a insert for this because, again, uh, we're going to have a lot of pieces, parts and pieces left over. And we're also going to have the uh, large cutoff pieces left over as well. So then this one, this envelope will go here in this pocket like that. This is so cute. Or we can flip it over this way if we wanted to. Either way, it doesn't matter. So that goes there. It's so cute. Now I feel like this needs something. Okay guys, sorry about that glare. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, the large cutoff, the large cutoff pieces, the small cutoff pieces actually were, des or that, I, that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> cutoff pieces weren't designed. <laughs> the belly bands were designed to be matted with the um, small cutoff pieces when you cut your paper down from 12 by 12 to 8 and a half by 11. So I was thinking about maybe using one of those strips because I have my package of all my cutoffs here, but I'm also thinking about, I mean, that might be kind of cool. I'm also thinking about using, this is a part of my build embellishment set four, and I was thinking about using this one here. This is like the washi tape strip page, and it's an inch wide. Let me just, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead. This is my build embellishment binder, in case you're wondering what I got there. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out, and we're going to give it a try. So I'm going to just remove it, whoops, I think I cut it at the wrong line, oh well. So this is just printed onto white cardstock, and let me real quick get the mat this is the mat for it and it's actually on page 18 the mat for the um belly band so i'm just gonna line that up here and that way i'll know how tall it's supposed to be oh and i got way way off that's okay when i cut it off just then i got really off but you know what we're just gonna go with it just gonna try to keep it straight here. I don't think I did a good job doing that either. So I'm just gonna trace this bottom line just so I know where to cut. Okay. 
And then we'll cut this here. All right, let me ink this up real quick. Isn't this pretty? It's got pink and purple, purple, <laughs> purple flowers on it. It's so cool. And then it's got like the stained script on there. I just love it. Okay, so we got that. And that will go right here, right? So since I cut it wrong, I mean, that looks cool. Since I cut it wrong, maybe we should use one of the dies that we've got out, the, um, the dies from LDRS, and maybe do something like this, just to kind of extend it some more. I have an idea. I have an idea. What, what, what? I have an idea. Do I, did I keep saying that? I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, let me move these. Wonder. Wonder if I used. We're going to experiment. We're going to try something. Okay, so this is a Sizzix a Big Shot, and I'm going to cut, let me find the die I need. This is the Scalloped Swag die. This is an LDRS die. I will put a link in the description box below because what's really cool is she's get, she's got a 20% off coupon code for you guys. So if you um, want get, to get a hold of these dies, you just uh, hit that link and go to her website, and then... Um, you should go probably to the top of that website and like search for, um, search for scallop swag dye and see if you can find it that way. That'd probably be the easiest way. And now I'm, I'm searching for, uh, um, oh yeah, this is one of the leftover pieces of cream cardstock that I've already used once. Do you think I can fit this whole thing on there? I think I can right there. So I'm gonna run it through with the cream color card stock. And I'm gonna run it back, even though I don't think you need it. Alright, so I've got that one. And there's my swag, my swaggy swag. Got that one, and then I'm gonna try to, I think this might be cool. I'm gonna stick this on here, and I would like to get a certain part of the swag on here, like that. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. It'll make sense in a minute, I hope. And I hope it works, because I think it looks gonna look pretty cool. And then go back. Did I get it? Yes. All right, let me put this away, or get this out of the way. Okay, so what I ended up doing was getting something that kind of looked like, like this. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I don't know what I want to do in the end. So I'm just going to trim off the swaggy, or the extra swaggy parts. These parts here, I'm just going to trim those off. Did I say extra swaggy? <laughs> I think I did. So it looks like that. And then layer this on top of there like that. Right, and then have this. Well, maybe if I could hold it still to get a look at it, where it could look something like that. That's kind of neat. It's kind of nifty. Okay. Let me ink these two pieces up and then we'll go from there. 
I need my little mat. Where's my little mat? All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put glue on the back side of here. And we're going to go ahead and attach it down. Because what's the worst thing that could happen? I have to cut out another one of the cream cardstock, you know? I don't think there is... I don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll go bad. I think we're just going to go ahead and attach it down. That way I don't have to fuss with it, trying to hold it still. And I did it again. I just threw the pin again. I know you guys keep telling me to put a magnet on my bottle. And I'm going to have to because I can't find it. <laughs> well, shoot. Ah. <sighs> I will. I'll put a magnet on my bottle at some point so I don't keep losing it. I don't think you'll see it this side, but just in case. Okay. So then this would go here. Like that. And this would go over top of that. Okay, I've been playing. I've been playing with all the different stuff that I have, all the different ephemera, the stickers, the puppy stickers, which I still haven't used yet, but they're so cute. Um, but I have an idea. I think I'm going to go... <laughs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and attach this piece, whoops, this faux washi tape strip here to this piece, to the edge of this piece, carefully. Um, hopefully I got that on there straight. Right, and then I was thinking, I'm gonna get one of those um, brads that we rusted. I uh, will link that video in the description box below. I'm going to put that in there, like that. So I was thinking about, I've got, these are pieces from other pages. So I'm going to make another tail, another like fishtail situation, or banner tail, or whatever you want to call it, on this side. Link that up, like that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to try to make a layer here. Oh, my phone. Just like a layer, like a cluster there, just for some interest. I think it would be cute. Oh, I'm not putting it up. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to tack this. I'm just going to put a bead of glue there. I'm going to tack this down like this. And I'm going to put some glue there. Tack that down over yonder and then some glue on the back of here Ooh, I'm gonna have to flatten that sucker out and overlap that just a hair what do we think that makes a nice little cluster okay I'm gonna glue it down now I'm going to glue this piece here down to the belly band. Okay, let me move this out of the way first. Sometimes you just have to keep fiddling until you get it just right. So that looks super cute on that belly band. I like it. So then the envelope goes back in here like that. That is so cute. Okay, guys, I think that's all we're going to do for this video. I really like the way this turned out. I really like... The cluster there, I think it looks fantastic. I love this paper clip. 
It is so cute. It moves around quite a bit, doesn't it? I might have to secure it down a little bit better, but I just love that. I just love that. So we'll finish doing the embellishing and adding different uh, inserts and things along the way, just like with all of the other pieces. So yeah, so I think that we'll call this video done. So um, do let me know what you think in the comment section below and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit this circle right there. It should be my face. <laughs> um, hit that and subscribe to my channel. And then there is a link here to my Etsy shop if you're interested in the templates. So don't forget to check out the description box below. There's all kinds of useful information down there. There's links to everything down there. Check out these other videos that you see on the screen. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.